zebras, kangaroos, antelopes, you name it. If you can dream it up, it's here in Riverfront Park in the form of a Chinese lantern. Now we came down to the park today to find out a little bit more about the process that goes into making one of these amazing pieces of art. You may have seen this guy from the road just standing here, but behind him there's a lot happening, all to get ready for the Chinese Lantern Festival. This is how each of the Chinese lanterns start, and eventually this elephant will look like this one. The structure they're making an elephant, it will normally take about several days to build them. Building the metal structure is just the first of several steps it takes to create an authentic Chinese lantern. Um, our artisans, yeah, the artisans come from China and um, they, they've been here in early August. Now they've been working, you know, making the different kinds of lanterns on site. The electrician adds the lighting, which can take up to a day depending on the size of the lantern. And there's quite a range. Some of the pieces are fairly small, others can only be described as huge. Next, the lantern is covered in fabric, a very intricate process which can take several hours per piece. Each of the artisans, they have their different kind of jobs. That's the end of the line for some of the lanterns, but others go on to be painted. All of the eyes on the animals are hand painted along with most of their markings. And they take every piece, um, you know, from the wire frame all the way to the hand painting of the eyes and the design. Um, you know, it's very, it's very cool to see the whole process unfold. And with nearly 3,000 pieces being created for the festival, it's easy to see why the 19 artists have set up more than a month in advance. And on top of the lantern displays, which are impressive enough on their own, there's going to be some performances, a cuisine element, um, historic exhibits. So it's really, you know, a festival. There's something for everybody. The festival is September 26th through November 1st. For more information, you can visit our website and click on this story. Reporting in Riverfront Park, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY 4 News.